Welcome to the Automators Podcast with your host, Jackie Stook and Joe Glines. Hey, so today we're discussing what work computers should do versus humans. Awesome. Let's go. Hey, everybody. So it's Jackie here from Copenhagen. Yeah, I'm Joe out of Dallas, Texas. Yeah, so today we're discussing what work uh, computers should do versus humans, right? So humans are amazing decision makers, whereas we believe that computers are amazing implementers. And that's that's kind of what we're going to discuss today. So I'd say absolutely, at least with, with where we are with computers today, add a user or consumer end might be a way of putting it. There might be great AI out there and stuff like that, computers that can win all kinds of stuff that are taking or making decisions. But as a human right now in 2022, humans are still the best decision makers, uh, from my point of view, at least. Yeah, I'd say because it gets back to we don't really real and until you start writing a program and you, you don't realize how complex the decisions are, you know, and the often you'll ask you when you, you'll know when you're working with the client, Jackie, and you're like, okay, well, how do you, you need to do, you need to decide whether it's a PDF or Excel. Okay. How do you decide that? And then it's like a 10 minute conversation on the thought process of what goes into that. And you're like, okay, how am I going to program, you know, around what they just said, right? It's, it's much more complex than you. And often they don't even know. They don't actually have a clear explanation why. But they know, and they know when it's right and wrong, but they can't explain it, right? And that's how complex some of these things are. But uh, but yet for them, it's usually a quick decision. They don't have to think about it. They just know. Uh, but And and so computers, because that's my background in data science, right, is they need a crap load of data in order to study, to figure that stuff out, right? To have an AI kind of an approach to solve that. It doesn't mean we can't write a script to that'll figure it out. But even then, we, we know from when we go to automate something and not a hotkey, my general approach is I'll automate the hardest stuff, which really is usually like 80% of the, the actual amount of work time to do. And it takes me very little time, but I have human interaction in it where I make decisions on what to do, right? So I don't automate the entire thing. When you try to automate the entire thing, it takes so much more time to program to do that. And that's because you're building in that logic of not if this, then that, and not if that, then that. And if all of these things are this way and not that, it's crazy complex. Yeah, and, and that's that's kind of the thing, right? It's the complexity of making decisions as a human. We've had many years to learn. We have this great um, biological brain that, that we have trained for years and years, and it comes with a bit of baggage and stuff like that. But... Uh, with computers, we're not in a place yet where we can just let them learn by themselves and go. They can learn specific things and implement what we have learned just well, fine. And and looking at different things, sure, a computer has won the most difficult human game. Um, uh, but again, are they driving cars? Yeah, yeah. Are they driving better than humans? I, I I don't I generally don't know if there are, but there are self-driving cars on the roads, but they're still not in every man's hands because they're not ready. And how long will it take? You know what? If it takes forty years, it's probably okay. It takes a normal human about sixteen years to become ready, sixteen to eighteen depending on country, but. Um, if we ever really teach a computer how to drive a car by itself, then every computer for now until the end of time or whatever you'd like to call it, will be able to drive a car. So it's it's not really comparable, right? We as individuals have to everybody learn it every time. Whereas with computers, as soon as someone really breaks that wall then that's it yeah and let's take exactly what you're talking about and just break it down a little simpler because i've heard this argument a lot of hey i have something i need to do let's say in excel and i could automate it and it's going to take me you know an hour and a half or two hours to automate it or i could just get it done very quickly 
you know, what should I do? Well, to me, the answer has always been automate it. Why? Because after I solve it that first time, I get to reuse that now every time going forward. And it's that scalability and reuse. And not only that, which is what your also other point in that, I can give it to other people, right? And now we can scale the thing like there's no tomorrow, right? And that is one of the real strengths of computers is they are great at getting stuff done, right? Like you tell them, go do this, then that, then that, and it, they can be phenomenal at getting those things done. Yeah, and it goes all the way back to, to more early, um, you, you know, uh, robotics or even just making humans do the exact same thing. You could um, make that as efficient as you like, right? As long as the thing is right here to the right and it only needs to be mounted right here to the left, then the human can just do that. right? And then, of course, a robot actually ended up doing that because they do it precisely the same thing every time, right? And it's the same thing with software. That's that's pretty uh, simple in our day and age. But moving from there to actually having the robot fully understand, you can program it to understand, oh, oh, I need to detect where the edges are. I, I'll take uh, two inches to the left and I'll still grab it. But what about if it actually is on its head or if it falls to the ground or and from there on it just keeps on going and getting to something that's a, just a little bit more generally applicable, there's probably some way some ways to go to make that truly happen if you look at a video from Boston Dynamics or whoever and you see I don't even remember which of them it is where it goes into some kind of storage picks up a box from a, a shelf and drives it and puts it down somewhere else it, it looks great but how much of that is precisely programmed right we don't know that as as the end user how much of it is just it has a big X and it can recognize the X and then it can grab it and place it somewhere else. But what if it was a circle? Who knows, right? We, we don't really know. So, yeah. Jackie, are you trying to tell me that in the original Star Wars, C-3PO was not a computer? I don't, I don't understand. I'm still not sure it was such a long time ago. I don't know, right? A long, long time ago. So maybe. You well, might have one, one other thing that, that popped in my mind was... Um, which, which comes into when I used to work in, in corporate America and I would automate something. Uh, when I automated it for web scraping, it was fast, but, um, you know, I'm like I, a human doing it. If I focused and I sat there, I could probably get it done in 13 minutes. And that was me focused. Um, when I wrote a crappy script that would do it, it got it down to less than half the time. I forget. I mean, it was like two minutes, I think. And it's because, you know, computers don't get bored right? Like, and they can detect when something is done. Hey, look for this element. When it's there, move on, right? And it's so much faster than how humans, you, you wouldn't think, oh, you know what? It takes me, let's say it's one minute for filling out this page and I hit next. Uh, it, when a computer does it, it's it's just crazy the comparison of how fast it is. It's mind boggling of like how slow we actually are at doing things, right? Because yeah, I, I, I remember, um, Elon Musk uh, years and years ago saying that the reason that humans will um, be obsolete was because of our uh, input output speed. Oh. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I read years ago was about the fastest you the, the fastest reaction you can have is this fight and flight reaction. Um, and it is where your um, visual center registers something that may be a threat. It can be, a, you know, a stick on the ground that looks a little bit like a snake. But if you just catch it out of your the side of your eye, uh, your brain will act because, oh, oh, it might be a snake. But even that reaction, your very quickest reaction, it no. takes about 80 milliseconds because that's what it takes for your visual nerves to actually put the information into your brain and your brain to process that information 
and make your body react. And you're, you're, you know, 80 milliseconds, that, that's really, really quick. Right. But compared to a computer, it's, it's going to be amazingly slow, at least in the long run. Right. So. Yeah, actually, that that thing that um, the benchmark when I was talking about with AS with uh, we were benchmarking ju uh, a regular expression compared to using an ape, uh, the object model search, and it was searching across something like seven thousand names and seeing if this name is in that list, and it it it, it was kind of funny because at first it was doing it so fast it it kept showing up as zero because it was under the ten millisecond threshold you know, in auto hotkey. So we had to use this DLL approach to actually check it. And I'm like, this thing is looking for this word in a list, you know, of 7,000 names in under, a, you know, 10 milliseconds. Like it's, it's chilling, like just to understand. And, and again, auto hockey, I know this is regex, but it's like auto hockey is not a fast language, right? Like this is, yet it's, it's, it's unfathomable as a human to understand, like grasp, like how fast it's doing these things. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, this is why also, you know, it's going to be quite a while that, that we are completely obsolete. Sorry, Elon. Uh, you know, it's, it, I don't think that was his main point. But, you know, humans still, we, we are amazing decision makers, right? It's just, it, why not? And, and here's the other thing. It's like, you know, people worry about computers taking over. This is, it's just another tool, right? Like we've been using tools for, you know, thousands of years to find better ways to do stuff. It's just one more tool. It is just one more tool, absolutely, and and we will probably have lots of different things. Decision making is just one of them. And lots of people will say creativity, but what's that, right? Why couldn't you make something that resembled creativity if you just made the computer do random stuff? But yeah, within reason, we're not in any way going to be obsolete. and. How does that even make sense when you're a human and humans becoming obsolete? Obsolete to who? Right? To to other humans or, or only to billionaires making more profit? But if the billionaires ain't making profit on or from humans, who are they then what? Right? Talking about humans becoming obsolete is, is a weird thing. Yeah, yeah, we have a ways, I think. Yeah. But, uh, let, let us know if you guys think of anything else that we should have brought up in this conversation of the differences. And really, it gets back to, like I said, when I go to automate something, I automate the process, the actual action, like kind of the verb kind of thing, the, the doing of the thing, but not the logic in between. And maybe I do a little bit of it, but I don't go crazy because uh, trying to automate because it just takes a lot of time to program it. And I'd rather just you let the human do what they do best, right? And make it simple. And actually, Jackie, I was going to say your example earlier with the robot um, and going exactly here and what if it's this way or that way. And, and like, I'd be like, hey, well, maybe you still have someone sitting by doing something else. A manager sits nearby. And when that package does fall on the ground or it's upside down, you know, the program just stops. And instead of trying to write this complex program to do all these exceptions, it just stops and have a human fix it and get it right back into going, you know, the yeah. right way. Right. And like, that's, that's how I write my code kind of thing. All right. Well, thanks, man. Good time. Yeah, absolutely. Bye. Bye.